Hello everybody, welcome to the final round of 16 match. It is Rick Reckless with his JFW Forever Chaos Dwarves versus Superbase 5221 with his Necromantic. And in the booth is two greats of Blood Bowl, Purple Chest and Fool. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey guys. Glorious. And... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> is Rick wearing his iron pawn suit? No, I don't think so, but um, yeah, so we've got a super base, got his team a bit wrecked in the previous round, um, he got a mighty blow wolf killed, so he's replacing him with Cheney for this game, and a bribe, and some very much controversially, <laughs> a uh, block merc flesh golem. This block merc flesh golem is costing him like 190 TV, isn't it? Yep. Oh, you fucking bellend! It's, um, I'm not a fan, Jim. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really not a fan. Like, there's certainly the argument for obviously having this for like 16 or 24 turns. It's better than a wizard. Um, but will you have it that many turns? And also, you can certainly argue the wizard's better, right? If you, you probably don't go to overtime against this chalk team. And uh, he's got, you know, he's got bulls and, and a wizard could really swing it for you massively, couldn't it? On a, on a, like on a big oh, yeah. swing turn. Wizard could I'll go out on a limb and say game. no. Um, yeah. I think this is a huge failure of imagination. Uh, the two players he's lost, he's tried to replace directly, uh, and he not even not then even uh, even then not very creatively. I'm also not entirely sure what he needed doing. He's got a stand firm guard, uh, white, which if he really wants some stability, can work with the other flesh golem. The other flesh golem's okay. So, and against Clawpon, that never seems like it's going to be the answer. Oh God, he's... There were other options. There's, um, you know, Ram Tut was available, possibly. Definitely uh, a vampire was available to him. The Count, who, you know, comes with the Hypno Gaze, which could have given him some options here. As you said, a wizard can do wonderful things to something as, as uh, immobile as the central core, the dwarves in a Chaos Dwarf roster. I think he had a big ton of inducements and a team in a slightly different position and came up with the least creative option available to him. I, I personally don't think it'll work, but let's see. Yeah, I think his big dream was uh, a big wizard, wasn't it? A big wizard turn and, uh, you know, doing something with that. I think without that, it gets really tough, doesn't it? But we'll see. You know, I mean, it is really tough, obviously. Rick's team is pretty great. Yeah. It's not as great as it was, but he's got two full claw pommers. He's got a bit of guard, and uh, that's pretty much it in a dirty player, and that's pretty much all he needs. 15 players, loads of players. He's got two decent whites that I, I think can sort of make up for the missing goal in between them. There's the stand firm guard one, and uh, the other one's strength four guard, mighty blow, and tackle, so it's a really nice hitter. Freeing his wolves sometime from having to do that if he doesn't really want them to. You know, he does have some decent tools. He's got a plus strength ball carrier. It's, it's not a bad necromantic team. No, it's but not. where it had holes poked in it, he's just tried to patch them over rather than think creatively about, right, what have I got available and what am I doing about the team in front of me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really like the wizard. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point, Ducky. Yeah, he could have just literally bought a rookie. Um, but didn't. It does make the chaff one turn harder, yeah. <laughs> Very good, Wolfpack. The <laughs> <laughs> famous chaff one turner. Well, I mean, we joke about that. There is a move seven bull. Yeah, that's with true. Lodge, yeah. break, tackle uh, on Rick's team, because, of course, there is. Um, but it is, <laughs> it is niggled, and that's something I'd be targeting with my wolves if I can get hold of it at all. Um, the other bull's terrible. It has block and uh, guard, which will be good for a bull in the uh, new rule set coming, but at the moment lacks the mobility that bulls uh, want and need, in my opinion, to get you out of trouble. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Rick took it as like a band-aid to his, his, his the <coughs> massive attrition he suffered on his blockers, and uh, yeah. he thought he wanted that guard, but you know, the break tackle. So it's, it's big to give up the break tackle for it, isn't it? It was a tough choice. I mean, there's an argument he's slightly overcompensated because he took a, he took guard on that bull and he took guard on a hobgoblin, which isn't terrible, but it, it's it's tricky to use and use well. For Fuck off, dear me. <laughs> Rick just instant cast. <laughs> well, of course. Love to see it. 
regens though, and uh, of his core Chaos Dwarf kill squad, that's one of the rowdiest. That Chaos Dwarf, if you cannot read your crazy little tiny pictures, has uh, Mighty Blow, Claw, Piling On, Juggernaut, Horns. Taken in that order. Yeah, pretty nice. Very nice. Uh, if what you want to do is kill things, it's going to be very, very good at it, isn't it? Yep. Yes, yeah, so this is the thing. That well, that was a bit of a rowdy pylon, right? Um, it exposes the bull to uh, Mighty Blow Wolf, and it also yep. exposes this chove to a massive gang foul, and I think this has definitely, to happen. Definitely has to happen. <laughs> if it's not in my imminent future, I am going to feel robbed. Yeah. Like, he just literally has to. He can... I mean I'm not sure Rick's going to mind. That's how Rick plays up in your face with what he can do. And you do whatever you can back and he'll deal with that. A nice angle there on the bull, taking it uh, away from the target square. And giving us just the vaguest possibility he can add another assist, but probably not worth doing. Oh no, he is going to, it looks like. Yeah, he's putting the guard there to protect the wolf, but of course he's basing a claw pommel with that guard, which is uh, very scary. But it does give him two die on this uh, naked hobgob with the guard, which is a nice hit to take, even if it is a one in nine. It, it is. Yeah. I, I'd probably even do it before the foul because that's a nice removable low piece of armour. Yeah. And that guard, if it does go rick, still isn't over long on the guard. With the bull also under our auspices for the next turn's foul, maybe, we could start to run him out of some guard. Oh, I'm ducky with a with a controversial choice to use in this turn for positional gain. I think <laughs> I think it was only ever trying to bang out the bull and then try and bang out the claw. Um. Yes, but also because I'm fairly certain that Rick doesn't really care about position at all at this point. Yes. And yes. you'll get other opportunities. He's trying to kill stuff. You've got to fight foul. There goes foul. Only a stun. The ref doesn't care, and frankly, neither do we. <laughs> he did that with, before he moved the ghoul, though. That's mm. basically inexcusable, isn't it? There was... Uh... Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> even if that gets called, that ghoul's in a better position now. So do that move first. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fair, Ducky, but there's kind of no point getting... like That's the thing, Rick, like, if you saw the first game, Rick just didn't care about the ball at all in the first half. He just dismantled nope. his opponent's team. Yep. And I think against Rick, you're going to get the chance to, to get forward when you want to get forward. Um... Maybe. If not, dangle anything vaguely attractive towards him, and I think you will. Yeah, but the, the problem that you've got against Rick is having a team left to advance forward. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that said, Rick isn't. I mean, isn't is capable of being much more than one-dimensional. But I think this team is always going to start in that gear. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean Rick can. I mean, if he sees opportunities to turn you over, he'll do it. Yeah. If he sees opportunities to completely stymie the the drive and make sure you can't progress, he'll do that. Mm. I mean, it was a KO game of vision, but yeah, <laughs> you probably wanted to pile on. <laughs> Good day, next one too. Yeah, he might even win three times this season. You never know. Rookie Sarah gets a kill. Powered up the dice there with that delay. <sighs> <laughs> Cheer <Chief>. five. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it does. Maybe Ducky was right here. But then, you know, in an, on another day, on another day, that Blitz KOs the uh, bull and the foul casts him and then it looks the great, right? Badly injures the, yeah, the EDB and suddenly he's in a really, really good, solid position. And I'm still not sure Rick's going to not give up plenty more holes. Who mm. were misses? Wow, instant greed there from Rick. Holy Just with the claw Because mighty, that, and, you know, there, there's Exhibit A. <laughs> I'm not saying that's bad. I'm saying Rick has a game plan here, and that's exploitable from the other point of view. Yeah. But now, now, Rick is capable of adjustment and compensation, but that's still something I'd want to see. Okay, can it happen if I'm not giving him those, those opportunities? I've used this analogy many times before. Some games you're the orc, some games you're the elf. If it hasn't occurred to the necromantic coach that he's the elf, it needs to now. <laughs> yeah. Change the game plan because the hit on stuff from foul is now putting him in imminent danger and he needs to become the elf and not be there. So that's why See where all those that. dwarves are? Be somewhere else. <laughs> So that 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 makes his Randor greed hit look more sensible. But I guess he just dodges right with this uh, this this wolf. No, no, he's, oh yeah. I, don't know, I think I would have. I think I would like the tackle. Claw mighty on him. Wouldn't have broken armor anyway. <laughs> And the problem is the bulls are so mobile, and that one, although it's niggle, it comes with tackle. Ooh, that would have been my lovely foul target, but of course we can't. Yeah. Yeah, okay, he is pretty much doing exactly what I said he should do, trying to be somewhere else. The problem with this plan is quite a bit hinging on a rented golem. <laughs> and it does yep. have block, but really also we need a pal, not a push. There you go, well, so. What's the problem? <laughs> and it's done! Nice. Genius, Rent. I needed a bit of luck, didn't he? He's been, he's been combated. Oh, yeah. A thousand oh, yeah, yeah. two KOs in, in two turns is, uh, after receiving is pretty crazy. It is. Hasn't done anything yet. And it's still not great. Uh, the wolves still need to move. And he didn't, he blocked with Cheney. I think he probably should have tried to dodge him away. <laughs> the problem then was he was sacrificing the other white, wasn't he? Yeah. Whereas the other white hasn't dodged away, he kind of still is. Um, but the wolf yep. makes it. No, that's not, that's fine. I mean, I, I myself don't mind occasionally giving up pieces for position, but... Cheney and our best white are two very good pieces to give up for position. Yeah. And knowing Rick, he's gonna cast them both. <laughs> and it's it's the right play, isn't it? Make the hits. I think. I, I don't think it's that. I'm pretty certain we're seeing the uh, the Jugger Horns Claw Pommer hit here, probably yeah. on Cheney. He could he could run around with this bull and hit the go. I'm sure. But it's not. It's, it's needed. No, no, I'm, I'm saying he, he could, but I just don't not, think he'll. I just don't think he will. It's not, I think this it's not is needed. Of course, cool, yeah. <laughs> I think this is what he'll um, do, and I think this is the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the long game. The way he's built the team, the position it's got itself into because of how it plays, it's ready to do the thing it does, which is two very nasty claw pop hits on the it most market left it. on the field for the uh, yeah. necro. Don't hate it. Tiger is fine. It might. And the other cool with tackle, and then have fun with that. Meanwhile, I kill the oh. best players. <laughs> yeah. Um. So the horns there gets us the two die. Oh. And it's a break. Using his pieces and every single skill on them. Mighty bloke. It's a break. It's a pile on. It's gone. <laughs> it's a gas. <laughs> wow. Oh, no, the, the, no, the surprise in my voice. Ooh la la. Right. And it's another break. 
<laughs> and it's a <okay>. KO. <laughs> oh, he bangs, he bangs. Oh, baby, yes, he piles, he piles. He didn't. He took the. <laughs> he took the weak and just gone with the KO. Lovely restraint there, deciding that KO would do in this position. That's simply removing the necromantic team. And I'm taking it. Fine for this try. He'll kill it later. Oh yeah, the wolf are laying down to a foul as well. <laughs> Five removals for Rick in three turns after kicking. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, the ghoul, um, the ghoul has the option to try to just put Zato down. Uh, and out of range of tackle. Yeah, yeah, but it can get out of tackle. Yeah. Besides, ooh, yeah, with the two girlfriends. Gets the pow. This is the fucking claw mighty hit now on the ball. Yep. Yeah. And then Wolf and uh, Ghoul can potato downfield. Yeah. So I don't even hate scoring. Like if, if you can just score now, it's, it, that's good from this position. Well, absolutely. You take the at this point, you absolutely take the score, and it's it's you know what you're focusing everything on. Rick hasn't tried that hard to stop it because he doesn't mind you scoring at this point either. No, no, but but he still would be slightly. Oh, you need to do the, you need to do the GFIs. You need to, away from that. Have to do the GFIs. You just need to get it as far downfield you can, super base. That's no reason not to. Yeah. Get away from uh, the scary stuff. Yep. Yeah. Well, you also need to be this. away from the agility of Goblin. Yeah. As yeah, far least... away from that as possible. So that if you go down, that doesn't get to the ball. Yeah, well, how can fucking. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Oh, come on, game. Mini game. <laughs> oh, another one in six. Uh, I don't hate it. I will do the same. I've done both go for it. I even done the second one potentially, uh, even with the reroll gone. Yeah. Just because it's absolutely it's desperate stuff. It's got to get away. Way away from those tackle coming from the other side as well. Yeah. Right, Jim Fowler's back. Wonderfully. <laughs> yeah, it could have uh, helped Superbase a lot if that, that wolf had stunned that uh, ball. Yeah. Not even a bloody stun, <laughs> somebody would say. <laughs> you can try to tune over and see if it's happening. <laughs> he, he likes to show your stream on, on his stream, so why not? <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so confusing when you turn passing by and he's showing you wrestling on his uh, stream. Glorious. <laughs> and of course, the ghoul could dodge off this plus move bull, or else uh, with a single break tackle dodge. And of course, it has dodge. It could uh, hit the ball carrier for two very easy dice. But of course, you know, it's it's only two dodges, one of them with break tackle. So yep. it's coming anyway. Yeah. So he's he's put BT. On the first one. He goes for the and then he just rolls makes a it. Only <laughs> <laughs> rolls a six. Why not do the two dice? But because it's Rick, I guess. I don't know. Playoff nerves. Yeah, he like that. that. Yeah. Indeed, I'm afraid that's not good. I liked coming with the ball. I'd have done it anyway. Yeah. Yeah, hey. but, uh, but why not? With the assistant, you'd still have the agility for Buck Hobgoblin to come and fetch ball afterwards. Yeah, yeah that's the why I don't understand. Well, the two unmoved pieces solved all problems then. Yeah, just a mistake, I guess. He didn't, didn't think, didn't yeah. realize it was strength four, I guess. That's the only, the only reason. Yes, that's, that, that can only be the reason, can't it? Yeah. He thought he was getting two dice. Must have done. Yeah. Does he not have skills? Oh. I think he's, if, if, if anything, he has all skills. Those GFIs has not been good today. <laughs> oh man. Well then maybe he was right if that hot goblin wouldn't have made it then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Do that too, <coughs> yeah, that's You had to look at assist in, I think. And then I and then I thought the plan was right. I thought the rest of the turn was pretty well ordered till then. Yeah. yeah. Great.
C'est une violation de son intimité. Il faudrait signaler ça aux ressources oh, humaines. Tu peux peut-être te buter. <laughs> yeah, there's... it's not looking good for the Necro, is he? He's down so many players. Maybe he just dodges and scores. I, I, I oh, will just try to score. Yeah. Get, get the, you get, get back to get, 11. Get a one stroke zero here. Um, I. Oh, think. Jesus. Oh, he hasn't got the reroll for the dodge. He might just go take the hit instead now. Oh, he's killed him! He's killed the guard. Do you just Good take God, the hit instead? Really... No, I can't. And gamble? Really... Now, that was Crazy. that guard I highlighted as probably not long for this world. And sure enough. He's there we are, a deeper oh. bench for the Necros. He can't, he can't just block. Because he, he just gets claw pumped. Oh, they've they got those two there. Yeah, got to go. Oh, and rolls to one. <laughs> Fucking hell the game. Mm. <laughs> That's why he probably should have just done that dodge rather than the extra hit, isn't it? You know, he almost certainly should have, Jim. Yeah, because he yeah. still had a two, it was still a three plus even if he makes the hit. I get it, I don't hate the decision, but I think all three of us agree we would have decided it the other way. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I could he see wanted, it. he wanted he wanted that hit. It, it was a it's a nice kill, he got the kill, but But you need to do the three plus to even get the hit. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah, Inside two me. times you can fail three plus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> by getting the hit, he could have just scored. <laughs> so yeah, that was you know, did yeah. not like. Yeah, it. I, yeah, I wouldn't have done it, but who can say if it was right or wrong? Well, it was wrong, Jim, but it, it was wrong <laughs> because the man's already had five pieces knocked off the field because he's facing having to score early because there's a piece there that looks really vulnerable because the position didn't feel like it was likely to go that badly wrong. And yet, it was always possible to. Oh, I wouldn't bro. have done it for that reason. And hence, yeah. I hate pro. To some degree, deserved, but now... He regens as well! Wow. Regen set to on. How many How many players has Re... Actually, three. all of them got. He's cast three, and they've all... Yeah, yeah, but how, how many bench has Re... Oh, how many bench? Uh, four. But it's all hobgoblin and it's all hobgoblin gone. Yeah. The shy. Well, no, it, actually, it isn't. That's not true, is it? There's the. Oh, no, there's no. There's an HG4 hidden in there as well. Yeah. That's the ball carrier. Uh, the spare ball carrier, I don't know. Uh, and a DP. Well, that looks like Rick's one, doesn't it? <laughs> it's, uh... It depends if the game decides it's one of those games where being having the ball means you die. If the Nick, the problem is the thing with the Nick were having the wolf and the wolves coming back. The wolf, the wolf could also easily chip a couple of blockers early in Rick's drive, and Rick could be in problems. Yeah, true. It, it doesn't take, it doesn't take much fantasy to see that happening either. Well, normally I would say the Kelst Wolves actually defend better than they attack. So I, you know, I, I would say this. Exactly, we could see another swing in the second. And now, he gets ball free! If he kills that one, we, we had dealt with this. We had got the score on a one in nine. Yeah, we threw that away. Terrible scatter, of course, but hey. But you can get the ball at least on the ball it. got down. Can't outrun the uh, ball centaur. No. But you can get it on the ghoul you don't care about if it dies. <laughs> yes. Potentially, even <laughs> it doesn't matter because <laughs> <laughs> even if he had a reroll, he's burned it there for nothing. <laughs> yeah, and now yeah. he gets to claw pom with his uh, horns guy. Woo! <laughs> and now we get to claw pom strength the four because we don't have to do it to the crappy one that's the ball carrier. Yeah, allowing yeah. the strength four to maybe recover next turn, which was a smart call by Superbase. Yeah. Um, it would have been superficially tempting to oh, go for it to pick the ball up on the strength four, but oh. not doing so would have left it available to recover the obvious problem there was going to be next to. Yeah. Um, now it gets hit. I don't like this from Rick because Rick's blocked his own path there, hasn't he? Yeah, he just uh, removes the. He just kill it. He just yeah. kills it. Yeah. He can actually chain push his like oh, yeah, guy back and chain, run around. Oh yeah, for no dodge, but I don't know, I still don't like it. Because he needs the squares of movement, he's only got three turns. Hmm, I'm not sure Rick cares. He cares <laughs> about scoring, of course, but... <laughs> not as much as he cares about banging. <laughs> and he's not even doing that. 
Wow. Why is you... what? <laughs> what What is going on? Of, of course that's a uh, armor break, that's not really a surprise. But now he's blocking himself in even more. Oh no, you just make a KO. <laughs> of course. Well, he knew it wouldn't be there, Cor. That's the only explanation, otherwise that was not it's, great. It's still, is it's he still, knew it wouldn't be there. He still added still a dodge, bad. just for fun. It entertains his viewers. Because <laughs> 2 plus never fails, that's right. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, he's going to go for the handoff or pass. Can, uh, can he's uh, clearly uh, he's inspiring to be part of the Super Banger Bros. <laughs> can be a secret member. Yeah, pass. He'll pass it here. Won't he? I'm sure. He absolutely should. Woo! Help! Have you not seen uh, Adev's uh, graphics to the Super Banger Bros? Yeah, it's pretty great. If you haven't seen that meme, you need to find it. Somebody has to find it. Oh shit. Um, well, right it's in my turn. Discord, but I'm not sure I want help there. I should have passed, uh, should have passed this turn. Some guy on me three. Yeah, I like that as well. Just Especially if there's one of those bloggers that could use the touchdown. Yeah, he's at four, you know. it's He gets it down here at, at worst. He, it's moved. He, at worst, worst case, he just moves down and picks it up and with, with at four. Show hands and does it next and does the handoff next turn. Right. Now that he's got it open with that move, um, so he's just basically denied himself a chance to uh, to do it. And in fact, now maybe he moves. I, I guess he has to move the uh, chore first, doesn't he? No. Yeah. And then, I guess you could hand off. Yeah, I guess you could hand off there. I don't know. I still think. Okay. I don't know. Pass this turn. Trip ones, genius non pass pirate. Yeah, that's true. If you know what the dice got for coming in, it's better. I mean, it, to be honest, it was fine. I thought he would because it would you know, complete a real dominant turn. But it's fine. There was The only real threat was from the ghoul, and it was incredibly tough to do anything. Yeah. No, it wasn't It wasn't bad to throw. Like It, was, it wasn't bad to not throw or wrong to not throw. But um, I just think it was right to throw. <laughs> he should have moved this guy long ago, though, shouldn't he? He should have moved this chalk blocker. Um, oh, this is wrong. Now, I, I can say with certainty this is wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Fine, then. <laughs> Classic. No, you, that's... Yeah, unfortunately, if you keep doing that, it's going to cost you because sometimes that handoff will fail and then you don't have a scoring option. Yeah. And then the second half goes wrong and you've lost or drawn the game from the op from a position where you should have won or drawn. It's, yeah, that's not a good thing. Don't do that if you're newish to Blood Bowl. Watch your yeah. And if you're not new, if you, dwarf first, you do the handoff next to it. Or you do advance the dwarf first and you throw it to it because. Hmm. Then you get another go to get that, uh, that ball in its hand. And even if you're not new, still don't do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> even if you're in the third round of Chalice and completely annihilating your opponent, don't do it. Come on. Kill it. A secondary option as well. Oh, such a good foul. A position. Could possibly a tertiary. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It was fine to handle that. <laughs> yeah, I mean he had the bull, but the bull would then have to make three GFIs and he's only on sixteen SPPs. Like so he's not he's not gonna level in the rest of the tournament, so it's just way, way, way better to uh move him first, isn't it? Yeah, and bulls are not movement nine, yeah. <laughs> Crucially bulls are not actually movement nine. Yeah, and if you don't want to throw it you know, incredibly easy to get an SPP throwing it. Uh, agility for Hobgob, then you know, move the dwarf first and then hand off to the bull if you want it done this turn. But yep. oh, I mean, just yeah, give yourself a secondary option and make sure that whatever you're trying doesn't fail all of your chances. But that was so easy to do. Yeah. However, it's all going to be fine. I mean, you know, Ritz, I mean, played well, he's put his plan into action well and it's worked very effectively. But I think we all feel the necro 
should have prioritized at least getting that score on the board when it did look possible for them. And they'd, they'd worked quite well doing exactly what we thought, which is knowing what Rick's plan was and that the pressure towards the board probably wouldn't be enough. So Nick um, was is still full but team. But then they threw that away. Yeah. Yeah, well, all the, all the regens worked, didn't they, Cool. Yeah. yeah. So and the good players KO'd. And the good players come back from chaos. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's only yeah. down a guard. Um, Rick's down a guard and a DP, but really he can matter, replace it with it? DP and another plus agility hobgob. So he's yeah. really not worried. No, it's it's what happened well, in the first couple of turns. Probably the you know the agility hobgob was better than the just naked guard hobgob anyway. So this might have been the lineup he'd have chosen anyway for this half. Mm. Doesn't he have a naked hobgoblin in? No, he would probably. I think it, I would probably no. still prefer to having. Isn't the naked pop cup been standing? Nope. In? Oh yeah, hang on, there might be one. Yeah. Yeah, but now it's well, coming out for the dirty player. player. You probably have wanted to guard or dirty player on your offense, but yeah. Full removal turn nine. I wonder if Space Cadet would have scored that touchdown. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Jim. I mean, there would be an argument, obviously, that uh, with the ball in hand, it was better not to give him any KO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Four touchdowns, win games. Two in. Ah, that's overrated. <laughs> The old kickoff return. Perfect. Scattered ball. That'd be nice, but weather instead. Yes, this is looking... Now all all super base has got to do is use his wizard, and uh, oh, oh. <laughs> now he needs to use his super super flesh golem. <laughs> this block flesh golem just needs to knock over the guy with the ball and it's real close. Count Luthor on. comes, Hypno gazes one of the balls, and then he can get in and hit the ball. Oh, did he have a block guard zombie standing? That's, that's another reason why really they don't like good zombies. Yeah. That's just so team based. Rent a golem. <laughs> What? Was it Jimmy? Was it Jimmy going? <laughs> yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy is out. <laughs> Had to be, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> Fucking all, Jimmy. All of the others work. The the white the white and the and the wolves work. Oh dear. This is a. Um, it's oh, pretty God, re aggressive. Jimmy. For a game where you're already winning. Yeah. It's getting taking a couple of mighty blow it's he can set up he can set up to uh tag tackle to the uh, mighty blow claw um, the good the good claw joking out horns. I have no clue why. Rick always does this to be honest. He he always like just likes to base like this and I remember he played deck. I'm, I'm fine it, basing, by the way. If you fucking base like that, base with the bad players, not the good players. Yeah, he, d he did it against Deck, and he's just like. He just kept exposing all of his good dudes for yeah. like, no reason, and I think he did yeah. get like one or two killed in that game, and it was like. You yeah. know, no disrespect to Deck, but he was like about a, an, an 18% you... win rate coach, and I really don't think Rick needed to do it to get the win. Why have we. Why have we not just. Okay, Cheney. If that if Mighty Blood had done something on this head, that's ludicrous. <laughs> he could have put the flesh golem in and just blocked it into the flesh with Mighty Blood. Yeah. 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 I you guess know, some people if some you people want to foul it. Don't, but don't know that you can do that. I think. I think that was his problem. I can I can see you want to foul it, but I probably just want to hit it with Mighty Blood and don't have to risk. Fouling it and foul something else. Yeah, and maybe just don't give up a claw bomb hit on your star player. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not a problem. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I, 
I don't know, Court. I think he needed fouling too. He needs a swing in the luck here. He's got a but, really. But he can still foul it. Of his team early, or else he's going to get banged out again. But it's it, he got plus two assist. Plus two assist. He had plus two if he blocked it in. He could still have gotten plus two on it. Yeah. Without blocking it back. Yeah, yeah. But it's harder yep. to rescue if it fails, and easier to foul next turn. I'll give you that in return. Why are we fouling However, zombies? The Great. amount we've left ourselves in is. Doesn't Kazim? No, I kind of he almost deserved that. <laughs> <laughs> For leaving him like that. Oh well, he got a foul again. Yes. I mean, the thing is, Game of Vision, you can't just really cast dwarves. Like, you know, it's not like he's not trying to cast them before now, is it? <laughs> no, but that one was no. screaming to the world and sacrificing you. I didn't uh, love that. Um, I thought on that hit, instead of pushing it into the stand firm white, I could have pushed the uh, the downed Chaos Dwarf blocker, uh, pushed it out of the, that little pocket it's into the right. Um giving it, when it does come unstun, more relevance back to where I might want to go up that side with the ball. Yeah, I like that. And yeah. also getting it off one assist already. Yeah. And if I want, because those whites are a tiny bit frightening, but that is a completely rookie jaw, I could have <laughs> advanced it and made one of them, you know, stay there to hit me. Mm. Although that possibly gives chain back opportunities, which I'd have to be worried about too. Oh, in a way, he uses that piece to get some interesting chain pushes. Well, um, Rick is trying to be uh, prudent to Super Banger Bros. <laughs> yeah, this is audition tape. <laughs> He's trying to bang all men. Uh, we're doing good, Flucky. It's been a really interesting game. Rick, um, his plan in the first half was what we saw in the last round as well. It was get. You know, get some high attrition rolls in. Uh, really make sure he's he's banging hard with his best hitters on as good a piece as he can get hold of. And the necromantic said, "Okay, here have a couple of absolute corking pieces of mine." And Rick took five out in the first three turns, I think it was, off the field. Uh, but they all regen. So in terms of the long term, not so worrying. But uh, in the short term, for the drive, obviously very worrying for the necros. Who then managed to proceed to get off onto one flank, uh, reasonably okay looking, because Rick was so focused on taking the attrition. Um, but then just when it looked like all should be okay, the Necromantic decided they want to get it all rowdy on a, a naked hobgoblin with guard, which was a, a nice looking piece, but perhaps not quite good enough for the risk he took. He rolled a dub skulls on it, then didn't have a reroll to cover a dodge out with his ball carrier, and Rick took the ball and scored. Which he messed up a little bit, but he got there. Yeah. Perfect summary. Do you have a really try and play in the Ding Sometimes. dong. Uh, I don't think, Teeman, that he's one of those Americans that gets sexually excited by the sights of uh, large amounts of beef cooking. I don't think he does get off to the flank. <laughs> I think is what you're implying there. <laughs> Dirty Plex doing a bit of a thing. Yeah, that's, that was a nice removal. Of course, he's got the other one. <laughs> he's got the other claw bomber to worry about still, but um, that was all right. And a good uh, first hit. One at a time, Jim. Ooh, he's one at a time. He's dead. And bang. Dead, dead. Oh, dead. that poor Phil. Um, that's one less now. That's not a Cloud Pokemon, but that was still a annoying Cloud Mindful. Quite a lot of irony there, with Regen uh, really on fire this game. The Apothecary as terrible as it can possibly be. Oh, Quite God. why that disparity has never been solved. Just give us one <laughs> Doctor that's sort of okay. They've got Regen. Half their team's covered every time. One. Is it that much to ask? One. But no. <laughs> um, it's good for this game, though. I'm not bitter. I'm fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, up. I knew we'd do the jump up. I would have bet a thousand pound on Rick just going for the three plus jump up. But gets the jump up roll. Oh, of course. An armor break. And a pumping. Because you. Why are we pumping? 
because he it's a bloody zombie. Assisting. He doesn't care about assisting against this uh, wall. Uh, white. He cool. Why is pile why is the tide? You know, um, the, mm, it's a zombie. <laughs> yep. It's a skillless it, zombie. It, because we can. Why do we climb Everest? Because we can. <laughs> oh, Rick. Don't worry, don't worry, Cor, there isn't a dirty player two squares away from him. Uh, <laughs> and and it just did, oh, yeah. <laughs> Some things are not to be understood. I mean, people eat Pop-Tarts. <laughs> You've just got to accept it's a mad world, Cor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh... This is what I hate about facing Necro as claw pump teams because, as yes. as he says, you know, you don't, you don't really don't want to pile on a shitty zombie, and then if you do, they've got the they've got the players there with dirty player ready to foul you as well, and it, it gets tricky against Necro. There, there is the option, Jim, of not piling on the shitty zombie. That that's that was a choice. Oh yeah, that's what I don't like because I tend to not yeah. pile on the shitty zombies. Yeah, but yeah, I've tried to not hit them if I can and hit something good, but in this case, it makes sense hitting it. Yeah. Um, well, we did try hitting all the good things, and that didn't work. So perhaps this is a change <laughs> of tactic. They all came back. Yeah, that half work, and he's he's got loads of players out at the moment again, hasn't he? So, yeah, yeah. You know, I've actually kind of lost count on what the cap number is. Yeah, we've got nine necro on the field, and eight chops on the field. Yeah, so he also, so now he's also threatening to actually score. Otherwise, he risk game. Um, yeah, and I mean, losing the ball. We, we push for 2 0 as quick as possible. Yes. And this is what I mean. That Rick, you know, yes, the plan for this team is smash the other team to absolute pieces, dance on their graves, and smile as you do it. But uh, he is capable of changing gear and saying, okay, now actually we've got to bang this in as soon as possible mm -hmm. and then minimize attrition. The game can be won. Let's do that. Yeah, he has to. Uh, and now he has to. Like, he, and particularly with that death, he needs to not take more because. Chalice equity comes into play, doesn't it? Oh, baby. Yeah, but he's uh, he's going. Ooh, I'm rough. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, we're, it we're... Was... I think it was right to get that in there, wasn't One, it? One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven. He can cannot score next turn, correct? Oh, could, well, this could be quite awkward. He could hand, hand off the ball. He could. Yeah. He's going to blitz the ball when he's going to bang the ball out here. Yeah, well, if he bangs the ball out. And you can uh, try to get Cheney no, back in the middle. Score, and then we do turn to radically change the fortunes of this game. He oh, doesn't bang the ball dog. out. Maybe he rerolls. He doesn't reroll. No, I, I can oh, see that. I, 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 you can't throw a reroll at that, can you? But I'd have loved no. to. I mean, you really don't want to throw a reroll at it. But oh, and Cheney being shit. Maybe you should. Cheney being shit, yeah. Well, really? if you're not going to throw the reroll at that, then you needed Cheney active for next turn. Yeah, that was pretty So shit. one of those had to be. Rerolled, didn't it? Yeah, and you yeah. cannot reroll that one either. That's just yeah, you crazy. Can't reroll the chain because you probably don't even get to reroll it. So then you have four. to bang out the bull because right now you, you're not going to have options next turn. It's two now. You have. He's not scoring. Which bull is he scoring with? He's, he's not, but if he smashes this wolf over. Yeah, that's the. Discard one? No. Discard. I'd come with the break tackle bull and take that wolf out. And then what are you going to do? I, I can just potato. Where, where are you? Which way are you coming to it? It's a long way around. One, two, three, four. Oh, my AG4 bull eight, goes. Nine. My AG4 bull. Chain him off. My, yeah, but my AG4 oh, bull there. can go off first on a two plus. Yeah. And then I no, can just two plus and hit him. Oh yeah, you can go that way. And now it's all fine. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. That's obviously better. I wasn't zoomed in. Oh, oh, he's rolled a one, a double one, and double oh. one. Oh, oh boys. Most right, guys. now, you, this is the turn. Take 10 seconds, find it, coach it, get us back to 1-1, one, one, give us overtime. Yeah, uh, the guard, just, that, that's just two dice, two dice, if you give the guard assist. My god. And then the strings fall, ready to pick up the ball? No. He stood him up. I guess oh. you get more dice on the ball this way. Horrible. Because now you can uh, block again with the fleshy if uh, this fails, but that's bad. I, I need to. You need to make it on those six dice. You cannot. Oh! He, he had other options though, right? He, he could have. Uh, yep. He could have hit with this. He could have hit with this uh, white <laughs> first. Oh wow! 
<laughs> okay, now we just need to try to make sure that he doesn't get an easy two dice. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this scary. is hilarious. Um and Cheney, you can Yeah, Cheney can come back to relevancy. Yep, and can come around ta help tacking those uh, dwarves in the middle. You probably need to hit one of them and see what happens with your block. Strength 4 is 82, isn't it, as well? But anyway. Snake was one of the most poisonous I've seen for a long, long time. Ooh. That is... That could be... Uh, that could be game on. They made a Very film much. reversal of fortune, didn't they? Or else I'd suggest you could film this. <laughs> <laughs> Can he get two dice back? It's really uphill getting two dice back brutal. on this one. Absolutely yeah, brutal. it's not easy, is it? Jump up fails oh, as well. Pro oh, fails. No. Oh shit. Oh no, Rick, no. I mean, the problem with that was there was a lovely little chain on there that could have given him sort of yeah. control of some things, yeah. but I think now you've just got to run away with the bull um, and hope that you can get a hit as that ball has to advance. The only thing that can usably come with it is the wolves. You can outflank two pieces with one that's got, you know, move seven and break tackle and tackle. So I think you probably run and then hope you can get the other ball back involved somehow. And if not, at least you've got some pieces for overtime. Running's fucking horrible, though, isn't it? Because if you run, then... Uh... Jimmy, you're screwed. There's no other option. If you try and fight on, you lose more. Mm, maybe. Um, if you run, one of the wolves may not come because it's it's on a, a Chaos Dwarf blocker. It might hit that. Um, Chaney may not be able to come. It might just have to be a potato with the bull carrier. And then it's a one die. It, I I just don't see another plan here. But the problem is, you've also got your agility for hobgoblin that if it hadn't stood up already could have come with you. Yeah, that's getting banged instead. Yeah, yeah that was not a great decision done in haste. I fear. Be oh, because he wanted the jump up, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. wanted the jump up chain. <sighs> yeah. Well, I. Th mm, okay, but. Oh, somebody is. Uh... Oh, good and fine. This is not doing much. Right, so that nails Cheney down a bit better too. I, I swear this bull's just gonna run backwards. That's uh, that's a lot of pressure on rolling five plus. Yeah, it really is. Because now he can get uh, caught behind everybody. Yeah. And be made irrelevant. With oh, a save! Push. Ooh, do we have time to try to save that bull? <laughs> I guess that's a, that's a good idea, right? To give him the chance to surf it, just because you never, you know, you never know, right? I guess that's an out to just leave him surfable. Yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah, he should survive the hit into the crowd and then not be you know fallible or anything and be available again for overtime. But gets the one dice there instead. One too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one D does shore up the uh, surf, doesn't it? There's no real. Yeah, surf and there. you shouldn't take it anyway. You should just. Just Who move it. Just give it a push with the flesh golem and run. It's easy. Give him a power with the flesh golem. That, that really Even easy. better. Yeah, that's yeah, really that's... looking nice for our uh, super base now. I think you, yeah, and if you don't get it this way, you could uh, take it with the wolf afterwards to make sure it definitely got away. Yeah. This is Terry's old gold. <laughs> I wouldn't take oh, the oh, 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 my god! That's oh, just a block out, but still. And what use a man if he gains the world but loses his CDBs? Oh, Rick! Oh, no! Rick is getting rigged. Oh, yeah. He needs an Iron Man suit. Start! Oh, god. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, the, I mean, that, as long as Ch Cheney doesn't block here. No, but I Cheney does block. Now. Now he blows. Yeah, I guess he does. Okay, it's fine. Ooh. You didn't know uh, the way? Skull. Other way? Wasn't it the other way to get in the way of the ball just in case, like, Rick does Rick things? <laughs> I quite like pushing on the other side. I, I mean, the, the bull is in an eye cage, and it's um, 
It's not got break tackle, it's not going anywhere. I think it, I mean, it can though, right? It can 1D power and then 4 plus dodge and then he comes back. Like, you know, it's Rick. <laughs> Anything's possible. I think, and also this way you can, uh, you can jump up on Cheney for overtime. Yes, that is definitely on. Um, he can stand up two guards and jump up Pom Cheney. I, I, not sure why he shouldn't just make sure that happens by using the blitz. Yeah. Because I'm not sure that anything else should really do much. I think, I think we're just waiting for. He Ogre could have nut block with Cheney. Yeah, or, or just push him the way. I think, yeah, I I think did, pushing him the way. I didn't hate the nut block with Cheney call. Cool. Because the bat, uh, double skull had also been had forced you in to try to use that. That's an option as well, I guess. <laughs> Red dice. Yeah, to be fair, that's a fantastic option. And pro uh, works. We missed it. So that's that's on all of us. That's the right call from Rick. Yep. Agreed. The jump off, of course, can also yeah. Be the jump up makes that possible, and it was only a four plus dodger, and he had some, you know, a big pile of re rolls. They're gonna do him no bloody good if he's lost the game. So yeah, loved it. Oh man, Feel, feeling like a Division One rebel coach now, forgetting about jump up. <laughs> yeah, and forgetting the jump up doesn't. Well, mean thinking he'd use the jump up to hit, but as I said, Rick is capable of changing gear, and he went, "This isn't the hit turn." <laughs> Nice, very, very nice. Yeah, now, agreed. the big question is, does the bull come through this gap? And I think yes. it absolutely should. Yes. So he can break tackle between the golem and the <laughs> wolf and then four plus out. Wonderful. But of course, it doesn't even need it, just Rick dices it. <laughs> oh, dear me. Wonderful recovery from Rick. Um, some lovely dice, but it, you've got to try it for them to be there. And yeah. Rick tried it. And again, look, imagine if Cheney had been in the middle there, that would have completely stopped, wouldn't it? Just quietly. That would have been three dodges, although you'd have still made them all. Yeah, but really still a bit better. He, I really hate you think I really think he hit wrong wrong side of the Cheney there. But Unbelievable. Step Rick, because he's fucking Rick's team. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand that joke. Does it refer to some part of the internet I don't go to? <laughs> it's the pound, you cannot... You, it's a jump up! Yeah, run, run, run. He's just going to oh, score, but, isn't he? A run, reindeer. Can you run away? Isn't he just going to score? The problem is... The problem you can't is, run away from the bull. No, and he does quicker, jump up so and, and probably have to score here. He's just going to score, yeah. It can get the book to go for us with their goo, uh, with their fleshy, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Puts the fleshy around the corner. See if that's going to stop Rick. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I, I'm sure that's what he's going to try, and then you dodge it. Three plus four plus. I, oh, he is. He's stopped. He's stopped. Yeah. I must be a second behind you. But God, he uh, was trying that. You can. You can block. You can free up Cheney if you can get a pal, or you can free up the wide. Probably yeah. try to free up Cheney. Yeah, free up the white. Oh, no, I'm going to try to free up the white because then it's almost guaranteed to work, isn't it, with a wrestle? Yeah, agreed. But how far can the white get down? I think that's the problem. The white needs you need to go on the other side. Oh, Cheney makes it. Far and far, he's done it. Cheney solves all problems. Hmm. A prob. Uh, yeah. Don't you go that problem. Have Cheney well, more movement? Well, we can get there with the hobgob. Um, one, two, three. So, no, that doesn't solve any problem at all, actually. <laughs> so the hobgob can two plus on the assist, and no, the wolf no, goes out past the wolf. One, two, three, it's four. still the same four plus three plus. But could, didn't Cheney have a move more? Couldn't Cheney have been one step forward? He absolutely could, I think, and should have been. Yeah, um, could have solved so He is eight, and he was there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He did, and he didn't. So yes. There we are, that's oh, my answer. Pro! Pro! No, oh, oh, Rick! Oh, <laughs> uh, Let me just point out that has changed almost nothing. Yeah, Bull could have got there on the same dice anyway before those hits. But, but Rick decided to. But Rick. Rick. Um, because it's moved seven, it could have come out via the wolf and then off the wolf and still hit the ball. And it's tackled, and but hit it's changed. Yep. And tackle doing a thing. Oh no. Woo. 
Can he get... If he blitzes the hop go, can he get out of range now when the bull is down? Must be able to, right? Yeah, now, now that the bull's down, he's got to be able to... Uh, he's got to be pretty safe now. Why are we... Are we, are we seriously thinking about just staying and blocking the... Are we going for the attrition head? It might be. He might, he might have forgotten about the movement. He might have forgotten about the plus movement. Oh. <laughs> or just not care about him, I guess. That's also an option, isn't it? I mean, going for the attrition hit is really fucking tempting, isn't it? That's a jump up claw bomber that's like devastating yeah. your team. Yeah, and you, you do have mighty blow claw standing there and you can still hit. Yeah, you can still sur surround this bull and make it hard for the bull to get you. You can just 2D him down. Yeah. Like, it's, I, it's you're tempting. actually not getting so close to on top of this Chaos Dwarf team that taking that piece out really, really yeah. helps with it. Um, yep. I think I couldn't resist it. I really do. But didn't. Yeah, the problem didn't is when it doesn't die. take him out. <laughs> yep. Probably so now the bull can literally now just hit off. No, now you just hit the, the hobgob off, don't you? It's fine. Yeah, but can... Yeah. And put him on there as well, lovely. Bull yeah, not easy for the bull to hit, actually. If the flesh, if the jump up works and take the fleshy, oh yeah, yeah, four, five, easy. six, uh, it's still pretty hard with the knockdown working. Yeah, that's nice, though, isn't it? Moving the like moving the wolf down and then pinning him on there. I like, not really pinning yeah. him to the four, but it's it's still a dice more on Rick. Yeah, but, absolutely. Yeah. It's it's all good. It's been it's been pretty well handled since the. Uh, the catastrophe snake. Yeah, yeah, that was super unlucky from Rick, wasn't it? To be fair, it really was. I mean, it was a fairly dominant position and that fell apart. So, got to pull yourself together, use what you've got, and dominate overtime. Of course, overtime is going to be really, really dependent on that coin toss. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah, apparently you don't want to win the coin toss because you don't want the ball. Because everything goes bad if you have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Both both players have had their, both coaches have had their offensive drive just annihilated. Removed, <laughs> completely removed. Yeah, Fix got there keeping it at all in the. Which has made for a brilliant game of Blood Bowl to watch, but probably quite stressful for them. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Doesn't go for the jump up one day first. Interesting strategy. I could have kept a uh, break tackle in play, couldn't it, for this? I think he should have gone for the jump up. I think it's not right it's right. hitting the wolf here. <coughs> and it's not one dies because the wolf was down, so it's two. Ah, red the bull was down, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm a And now he can tag the ghoul run. Sorry, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not be surprised if it had been the case. And it had been a one dies, he's probably done it. Yeah. Yeah. And I. Oh, oh there's a skull. Right, it's just a 2D now, isn't it? I guess he does the claw hit. Uh, it's. Uh, I will uh, imagine we're going to see. Uh, no? He's a more restrained. 3D here, though, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. I... Maybe this 3D with Mighty Blow was the reason for Rick to have not made that 1D here. Yeah? Does it make me a bad person that I really, really, really still wanted to hit that niggle bull? <laughs> <laughs> no. I've, I've been looking at it as well. Yeah, I'd really want to, but you, you can't, can you? You can't. You've got to. You've got to. No, I can. And if I'm taking a three die here, I'd rather risk a two die there. But but how are you doing that? Because yeah, it was blitz, it was blitz, and you yeah. want the blitz to make sure you don't have to treat plus. Yeah, you got a blitz with a ghoul, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, no, you can't. You're right, you, can't. <laughs> you really want to, yes. But I really wanted to. Yeah, oh, I really wanted to, yeah. <laughs> Controversial strategy with a score. Uh, Space Cadet won't be happy. <laughs> also, a little bit uh, a little bit controversial just running it straight in with all yeah. movement left. Yeah, Mankes will be fuming at that. Amateur hour. 
<laughs> and of course, Kerfung as well is the absolute, uh, absolute BM. <laughs> sure, what, what was it? Sure, sure bought them. Yeah, so it's sure bought them. Yes, a ban for show boating with Josh running my touchdowns in. It was maybe the amount of them that was the problem. <laughs> Toxic. Whoa, look at that! Four KO rolls all come back. Unbelievable. Like Nick was not staying out this game. They, they, they're in for it. They're in for the long game. Wow, that's just be real uh, bad for Rick. Mike, I'm just having a little look and a little moment over Rick's cat's box. Okay, Rick won the toss, so he's he's uh, he's very happy. <laughs> Three deaths, two bans, and uh, it's nine nine versus eleven. What? But he's got a chance with the ball, hasn't he? He's got a chance with the ball. Of course. Uh, but again, getting the ball is the about... At this point, I really think if the Necro had the ball, this was probably game. Yeah. Uh, but I, I mean, I say that with these two, well, with this one bull. I mean, that niggle really hasn't done what I hoped it would do. It hasn't disappeared it from the game. It's mm. the good CDBs that died. But mm. well, what? But um, it, while it's vulnerable, it's it's incredibly useful too. Fast, dangerous. Yeah. Um, God, how do we like you? Do we like him? Uh, do we like him doing a rule of five? Knowing that his two players up and Rick probably want to push for a fast touchdown, and and with and he's got two flesh golems as well. No, I do not like the rule of five at all. <laughs> I mean, he, yeah, he's, I he think it's put terrible. his uh, inducement into those two flesh golems, and now he's using them poorly. Yeah. More rerolls. There's uh, definitely plenty of rerolls to push now. <laughs> Yeah. That seems not thinking Rick might look at trying to do do a fast touchdown seems crazy. Instant pro there. My preferred pros are when they roll double skulls on the pros. Oh god, I thought you were, I thought you were gonna talk about hookers there. <laughs> no. no. I was just about to say that uh, Rick being really disciplined here, not maximizing his blocks, making sure that he's just pushing them forwards and off so that he can get as many players into the position to dominate the ball as he possibly can, and making sure he's there ready to uh, you know, take control of it next turn, and he piles on the zombie. Yes, because pylon must because, do. Yeah, it had pylon on it, so you pile on. Yeah. Which means that it has to Which stand up. We pile on its golem, don't we? Yeah, almost certainly. Like, you really shouldn't. You so no, shouldn't. Oh, and, and even less yeah. when you've actually... Yeah. Especially when you break the armor. Perfect, you're standing on tackle. And he's just forward. can't. You just can't do that. It's just... Oh, but he did. Come and on, he Rick. He did. Come on, Rick. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, mate? <laughs> that, it was perfect. You had tackle on, on his good goal. Yeah. Yeah. Transmission, un choix prudent. He's gone for the handoff already. And now that he can't defend any kind of position at all, <laughs> um, it's probably best to start heading forwards with the ball, eh? <laughs> uh, that's perfect, Al. Just, you know. <laughs> It's not there. <laughs> if he runs out like ahead of the advanced hobgoblin with one more hobgoblin and a bull, he can stabilize a cage there within range. And whilst it can get smashed to absolute smithereens by this rule of five ridiculous setup from the necro, it Go should here, still have yeah. some sort of dodge on for a score next turn. Why is this and he so... had the rerolls for that. Four plus handoff that wasn't safe because he piled on. Can can we have a moment so, uh, having fun with Rick? Mm -hmm. Has need to do like a long straight. He cannot stay off because of that pylon. The pylon leaves it completely open on the backside, so yeah. he needs to do this. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. he could have gone. He could have gone here with a guard next to him. Um, I yeah, but that's can he with with with. 
but giving with guards on the other side as well. Mm. It's risky. Yeah, I think he could have done. Oh, yeah, he yeah, could this has got guard, hasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, no, he, no, he couldn't really have done yeah, that. He, he forced himself oh, to having to do yeah. all that. It's yeah. probably working. It probably so, is. we can obviously get an enormous amount of material around the ball carrier, making even a, a break tackle bull have a tough time dodging out. Uh, or we can hit the ball if we're prepared to do two go for its with Cheney. Or a not particularly difficult looking. Dodge with our bulk with our um, strength four wolf. Mm. And we want to train. No, we Don't can't. That wolf, wolf can't. Can. No, Cheney can. can. Busted, yeah. Cheney can, but the wolf can't. Two, three, four. Thing we t looks. Oof. That's a lot of commitment just to take Keep that first. Go for it with Cheney, and it's the fail state's awful. Yeah, yeah no, I, mean, I, think, hit, I think the players claw mighty one, and then Cheney comes round and, and makes it harder, doesn't it? Ghoul can get one die as well, but it's only one die. It's like and it's a blood, yeah. Deal. Yeah, I mean, it means you can push it onto the uh, onto the white and s and hem it in, but then the guard on the other bull starts to become incredibly useful. Mm. Mm. Yeah, or we come know. through the hobgoblin and just get all around it. Yeah, because we sure get around shit. the other side if we knock the hobgoblin down. Oh, he, maybe he is coming with Cheney. I think he's coming with Cheney. I mean, maybe mm. not, though, right? Because he's tagging him to stop the break tackle. Maybe he's just going to blitz the one in front. I don't know what he's going to do. Who knows? He certainly seems to have turned down the hobgoblin. I think he's blitz blitzing the one in front with the wolf and then trying to get Cheney and the wolf in front of this bull. Yeah, and then I with the strength so. four behind to but make can, it, you know, a yeah. break tackle to get off. But that he, maybe. he needs one on the side, otherwise you just run sideways. Yeah, yeah. He's, the, the wolf has got to do that himself, hasn't he? Put puts Cheney in like this square or something, and then the the wolf blitzes, dodges out, and comes back. I guess. Oh, uh, just uh, pushes it, and then uh, yeah. is the blitz choice. <laughs> then he needs to re-roll this. Got to re-roll here, hasn't he? Yeah. Has to be down, and you have to be free. Yep. Yeah. Works. Oh, <laughs> and it's Jay Bass oh. is dead. <laughs> oh it's, my uh, god! My... profile. Not counting the apothecary use, but we now have uh, four deaths and uh, and a badly hurt. Oh, he burst. I think Not he should five have permanent burst. injuries suffered by Rick's team. No, yeah, no, because that leaves him uh, out. Shouldn't he just have stayed one square, like fill yeah, the square like in that. front, yeah. and then base from the side with Cheney? Yeah. Okay, he's got. What? He's, he's just. He's just. But isn't it? Cheney, but right? one, two, three, four, out. five, six, oh, seven, no. eight, nine. He just dodges what? backwards. What's he done? It's moment seven. That's terrible. <laughs> it doesn't even need to be. Even at movement six, this could. This just. Just scored. <laughs> Woo! Flip me, that's bad. That's terrible. Really, yeah. really awful. Yeah. I mean, I thought the obvious play was to, like putting Cheney in in this square, and then yeah, and then put the wolf where Cheney is. But he's yep. instead left him. I could even if you put the wolf, you could have put Cheney's on it. Really wanted to, but yeah, I'd, I'd like as well. Just wow, and now just it's just a two plus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just gave him the game. What the? F <laughs> that's that's just unbelievable! Wow. Well. Who's uh, who's Rick playing? Uh, Le Marcelin, I believe, in the next round. So he's making a higher team now after losing all that. <laughs> yeah, it's looking looking really bad for Rick next game. Absolutely brutal. I mean, I, I, I don't blame you if you're watching and you didn't. If you just had it all, eventually, just deaths become more one, don't they? We stop counting. It just becomes a, a pile of death. But actually, what he lost there was one of his incredibly nice hitty um, claw, mighty blow, evil things. Uh, a rookie chuff. Uh, the bad bull, the one with block and guard. And the guard hobgoblin. What a stupid dead. ending to the, an uh, the was fun only game here. to watch. Uh, and the dirty players were sent off. But yeah, four dead. Out of five permanent, out of five casualties taken. That's um. Well, every bell curve has an edge. <laughs> that was. 
<laughs> what a, he, what? He, he, he left it open and put a light in it, saying, "Come this way." <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. Wow. And you're right. Even a normal oh, dog. Oh, dog. I, I think that's a very astute comment. That um, we didn't see the winnings because he he won't have enough money to replace that. <laughs> no, no, he won't have enough money to replace half of his team. No. <laughs> wow. Uh, but well done. He's in the next round. Yeah, yeah. Congrats, <laughs> Rick. He hasn't got much of a team left, but he he's made it. It's Rick, um, Jack Bull, and. Uh, Bulk is streaming, but is the face cam on Rick? I want to see how much he was laughing when he realized Janie just moved around. <laughs> yeah, the face open. cam was on Rick. That is a VOD you can watch back. Oh, glorious. He must have been laughing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I look does. very surprised thinking, what is just happened? <laughs> yeah, flip me, guys. What's happened? Unbelievable. Um, no, not after the game already done, but when, when he just left him, when he rolled out the red carpet for him to score, was, it's got to be funny. Yeah. Um, right. Anyway, I guess we could look at the Rick team before we end the video. Um, so, yes, thank you. <laughs> Obviously, congratulations to Rick uh, and commiserations to Rick as well. <laughs> Um, as he has lost his team, he won the match but lost his team. That's uh, pretty brutal. He's gone from 2,000 odd to down to 1690. Uh, but you know, it's, it's think... still not that bad. He's still got the two claw pommers, hasn't he? He's still yeah, he's still got two, two nasty ones. The, the better bull, but the niggled, you know, vulnerable bull is alive. Yeah. Um, like I said, he lost a rookie, Chorf, and the rookie ish bull, and the guard, Hobgob. Those three. They're not so terrible. They poke holes in your team, but they're not. Ah, oh, they're not. He could have lost worse things. He lost one really, really good piece. Yeah. The bull, which is okay, and the other two were, were you know, one step above trash. Hey, but yeah, yeah, but he, he lost four players, though. It's still pretty. You cannot say it looks better. Jimmy G's when... parents or Elp Meme himself, one step above trash. <laughs> yeah, this probably is fine to beat Elf, yeah? Yeah, Jimmy uh... probably is. I'd have to have a look at the, the you know, the TVs and the pre-game plan. But, I mean, it, of course it can. Yeah. But uh, Rick, very creative. And like we said, there was that turn when all looked lost, and uh, it was eventually. But Rick still managed to pull that fantastic turn out of him, which neither of us, none of us saw coming, uh, and yet was great use of his pieces. Yeah. It's still going to, it's going to feel... There's a hell of a coaching, Rick. Um, and sometimes maximum. let him stop banging things. Yeah. It's maximum, either it's fielding one bull and five blockers, or it's fielding two bulls and four blockers. Yeah. And I, I mean, I, but I mean, a rookie bull, it, how much does it add, really? Nothing. Not 130k. And especially not in this, uh, in this matchup when we're being else. Yeah. No, rookie, I mean, rookie bulls are, are projects, aren't they? Which is why, actually, if you want super efficient, really low TV um, Chaos Dwarves, you take the, uh, the Chaos Dwarf blockers and some Hobgoblins. Yeah. But yeah, what is uh, how does the high elf? It has high elf, high elf. I don't know. I we don't we know. should wrap up the video now. I think. Yeah. yeah. We should. Um, thank you very much, Purple Chest and K Fog. Um, Where else should anyone have been tonight? <laughs> yeah. And uh, congratulations, Rick. Commiserations, Super Base. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.